This story that I'm getting ready to share with you all is very personal to me, and I apologize in advance for getting emotional, but I believe it's important for me to share my story about how I survived Kim Cooks. Y'all bear with me. Back in 2018, I was a practicing attorney, and out of nowhere, Kim Cooks filed a bar complaint on me. A bar complaint is where you file it with the State Bar of Texas, and you're saying that this particular attorney doesn't deserve to have their law license. It couldn't have come at a worse time because I was pregnant with my daughter. And as a result of that, I almost lost my baby. Now, you all have seen me post videos and pictures of my daughter on this site. And I love both of my kids dearly, but I must admit my daughter and I have a different kind of relationship because I almost lost her. Anyone who saw me practicing law between 2018 and 2019 they can attest to seeing me being pushed around in a wheelchair because I went into preterm labor where I thought that I would have had my baby early. I had to get shots to ensure that her lungs were healthy, just to make sure that nothing went wrong with my pregnancy. By the grace of God, my daughter ended up surviving. I was mostly taken back that a sitting judge would do this to me, would put me through that, I didn't know her. I didn't have any previous interactions with her. Nothing that would warrant what she did to me to try to destroy not only my livelihood, but to destroy my family, the life of my unborn child. Here's a picture of me and my daughter and what would not have been if not for the grace of God. So I'm truly, truly thankful for that. I'm from Oak Cliff, which is in Dallas. And anybody who knows anyone from Oak Cliff it would have been on site. And I don't even have to explain what that mean. Y'all know what I mean by that. But I had to be the bigger person, which is why I made the brave decision to run against her. And I beat her in 2022 because I didn't want anyone else's family to have to experience the, you know, unfortunately, what could have been the loss of life. I'm sharing this story because I don't want any of you to experience what I experienced. I don't want any of your families to experience what I've experienced. It is election season. This same person is running for an even higher bench. And I cannot lie to y'all. It gives me anxiety even thinking about how she could destroy someone's life on a higher bench when she almost did it to me on a state level. So... Y'all be informed when you're going out to these polls and know exactly who you're voting for. And that's why I told you at the beginning, all skin folk ain't your kin folk.